All right, it's been a while since I've done a video. That's my bad, but been busy working on my trailer out there and coming up with my new contraption, which involves this O-ring cutting dovetail end mill. So check this out. I'm going to try to 3D print basically a bolt-on jig that holds this thing here that you can use a drill with and then spin with a wrench. And you can cut your own O-ring grooves in your LS head so you don't ever have to use exhaust gaskets again. By doing this basically, you could buy this, you could basically buy this jig for what it costs to buy a set of or, uh, exhaust gaskets. Comes with this like $70 end mill and the O-rings and then you'll never have to buy exhaust gaskets again. It makes taking headers on and off, turbo kits, everything way easier in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you the process of what this is going to entail because this is my first rendering of what I think is gonna work based off of the LS engine that I downloaded. I built this little jig and I'm gonna go try to 3D print it and then bolt it on a real head and see how that works. not gonna believe how perfect my timing was i walked in as this thing literally had one and then as soon as i walked up it said zero minutes remaining so i all i got to do is watch the last minute of it finishing this process and it's funny i actually was, have been having some issues with this i think my print bed was just a little too dirty i didn't know you could wipe it with acetone so i was trying other stuff but wiping it with acetone and then using the glue stick fixed all my issues but look how good this thing looks. Brown chick, wow, wow. Look at that shininess. This is just some cheap Amazon black PLA filament too. So, so let me explain how this works. If I can get it off the print bed, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's try to get it off the print bed. Boom. Boom. Look at that sleek underside finish. So the way this thing works is this piece right here will bolt onto your engine block. And this piece right here sets Actually, this one would basically set where your exhaust port is. And then this piece right here look at that fit in. <laughs> Slides over it. May need to do some fitment testing. Because we're a little tight on our tolerances. But either way, that piece slides over it. And then you put your end mill in here. You know, while this bolts to your heads, end mill goes in here. You put a drill on the end mill, and then you can use a wrench to turn this bad boy. But my tolerances are a little tight, so I'm going to have to go back and rethink it a little bit or not rethink it just literally change some dimensions but dang that turned out perfect see this would sit on the head this goes over that and then you put you bolt it down end mill goes in here with your drill and then with the other hand you turn this cuts a whole over and groove right in your head right in the side of your head boy Look at that, dude. 
That's slick. Pretty dang proud of myself. Okay, I think this might be the best fitting first pros hype I think I've ever done. Look how amazing that is. Boop, boop, doop, boop. So basically what you're gonna do is you take your dovetail bit, you stick it in there, you take this, and I'll probably have a slip collar that you can set to a certain depth, drill it in, and then pull the trigger on this thing. And as you pull the trigger, obviously you'll have two hands to use, but you'll pull the trigger and just slowly spin it. Obviously the, the bit's gonna only allow you to move so fast, but you can use this to put pressure on it. And as you move, you just keep going around and around until eventually you're all the way back to where you started. And then just like that, you take this off, you got a groove, you pop an O-ring in there and you never have to do this or use a gasket ever, ever again. Long story short, this thing, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have it made out of billet because I just don't think, I was gonna try to just keep it basically um, 3D printed, but the way the bit has to ride in there, I'd have to put a bushing in there. And with how close it is to this bolt, I wouldn't be able to make it bigger to fit a bushing in there. So I think it's gonna be have to made out of billet. Um, but still, man, it's gonna be, I mean, even if this piece, I don't know how much they're gonna cost me to make, but even if it's a couple hundred dollars, you know how easily you spend a couple hundred dollars in crappy exhaust gaskets. And then this, this piece you would have for a lifetime and be able to cut any and all of your heads. You never have to buy an LS exhaust gasket again. And then I think I'll be able to make, as long as you're, as long as this diameter works for your exhaust port diameters, I'll be able to change the outer pieces to fit different head styles. Big block Chevy, small block Chevy, Ford, Hemi, all that stuff. So pretty freaking pumped about this one. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. This one literally designed it today printed it today, testing it today, and it actually works. I, I was able to process through my mind, okay, it's going to have to be two-piece, but there's going to have to be a ridge that rides inside of it so that way it can spin but not move, but it's going to have to have enough room to where it can still spin, but it's going to have to be flush, and then it's going to have to have be able to be turned, and then it's going to have to fit all the bolt holes on the head, and I was able to work through it, so I think my engineering brain is growing so i'm pumped i hope you guys enjoy this this is a short little video but it's very exciting for me and i can't wait to keep building things and making things and using my brain and my imagination and creativity to make race cars greater and better than they already are just no gooder i'll see you later i lied i'm not going anywhere i had to tell you that if you go to nikki bobby inc right now we have new stickers new stickers and the billet ball joint wedges are now on my site ready for pre-order um the the carbon ones that you guys saw me print all that stuff um now they're made out of billet sorry i got a phone call but like i was saying billet um billet control arm wedge spacers for i think it's a k k5208 or something like that part number ball joint i i'll put the link below i'm sorry it's been a long day but they're live on the site today they'll ship out mid-may um uh buddy uh, anthony jones is working on them right now he's making them in his home shop and i said i was gonna go home and call today but i can't help but try this out so i've got an old junk ls head off of the Malibuist of all cars, and I'm going to try this out. So, basically what I've done is shove this bit in there, and I've set the depth on it to where it's barely in there. But what that dovetail does is it's shaped like this on one side, you know, it's, it's concave like this, so it'll go in, make a hole, but as you go around the rest of the way, it's gonna be, um, it'd be like a chamfer, 
to where it's bigger on the bottom and smaller on the top to where when the o-ring goes in it pops in and it holds the o-ring in and i put these washers up here so that way the chuck of the drill basically i set my depth i put the chuck of the drill against these washers and then that sets sets my depth it can't go any deeper than that you can pull it out but you cannot push it in any further than that and then these washers will act so what so that way the chuck of my drill doesn't burn up this plastic and we'll see how this thing holds up so i'm gonna try it real quick just to see if you know this end mill is probably made to spin like my buddy brad said at 7,000 rpm and i've got a little drill here but it is just aluminum it's just cast aluminum so let's see if it'll cut or not because i am always curious to do what people say probably shouldn't be done so I'm gonna do it! Just let a man breathe and just hush so my mind could just see so my mind don't erupt. At times I feel I can't get enough, but I sip a double cup and I spend a couple bucks. Sending out some love to my blood, to my girl, to my buds, to the homie up above. All right, I will say one thing. I'm actually very thoroughly impressed on how this little thing cut. But the 3D printed jig, just because, I mean, it's probably because it's PLA and all that, but I don't even know if a carbon one would hold up. You can see here. Let me flip this around. I'll flip it around. You can see here it started to basically just bend it, which caused this this thing. Apparently my camera can't focus on. Caused this to walk crooked, which in turn made that, and that was just kind of wobbly in general. But honestly, it cut that groove pretty freaking easily. You can just tell, I mean, it was obviously really, really shaky, but it cut that easily. So with the groove depth set right, because you can see this is the width of this going in. So the bottom of that groove is actually see i can't pull this bit out of there so once you stuck your o-ring in there that would hold an o-ring perfectly and it cut really easily but once it started walking around over here bam see how it messed that up you know that's all obviously all messed up but that's only because this started walking around so say i have one of these made out of billet Doing this job actually becomes really easy. Because that start of that right there, just that little quarter inch right there is perfect. It just sucked out here because my only 20% infill junky PLA <laughs> print moved on me. But to me, that is a major success because it tells me that this design right here works. I know this is kind of a run on video, but look what I brought home to do some upgrades to. They call me the working man. Cause that's what I am. This thing has been doing great. I've literally been driving it like a daily back and forth from the shop. And I'm not gonna lie, I really can't get enough of how the small block sounds with these spin with this spin tech on there. 